everybody, welcome to the Joe Nolfo Show. We've got a special episode for you today. My good friend Joe invited me because I'm a renowned, world famous uh, drunk food critic. And uh, I like to, to get drunk and uh, I like to eat garbage food. And uh, Well, I'm not a food critic, but I am a drunk, so it works out. It works cheers. Out, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll stick with keto. Mm. Keto. Uh, okay. So we got a chicken sandwich competition challenge. You know, we, we were debating what the best chicken sandwich the is. The great chicken challenge. But yes. So so I had Terry go pick up. He lives he lives on the way of uh, uh, the fast food alley of US 19. So uh, I had him pick up. Uh, you got I think I told you Chick Fil A, KFC, and Popeyes. Popeyes? No. <laughs> no. We're not Disney. No, not Popeye the cartoon. Popeye's the chicken house, you keto head. What the hell's the matter with you? I think keto it, like a fish. You know, I think yeah, it melts her brain in the jelly. You can't find a damn fast food restaurant. I told you to get somebody to go right, so, keto. So, so what did you get for us, Terry? Got 7-Eleven. Yeah. Burger King. Burger King. And Checkers. Well, wait a minute now. I'm looking chicken. at... I'm looking at the 7-Eleven. There's not a chicken sandwich at all there, yeah, what uh, the Mr. F- Kato. It's a fucking this is a cheeseburger, cheeseburger, man. Well, it's good. It's got meat in it. Some I mean, cheese. Somebody bring the, what more do you need? Somebody bring him a slab of rib <laughs> fat or something. Maybe it'll build up his mental. All like right, that. well, anyway, I'll as, as, as we do on Drunk Jeff Eats, we I'll just we eat what we get. <laughs> And we review it. So let's start with this uh, checkers. Yeah. You're up first here, Jeffy. Give it a shot, buddy. Tell me what you think. Oh, my. Not an appealing looking burger. I feel like I'm yeah. on an airplane all of a sudden. That's not even edible. What in the world? Can, can we get a close up on the camera here? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, this really doesn't look good. I'm not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> checkers are right. renowned for their greatness, that's for sure. You couldn't go to Popeye's? You know, that is a restaurant, not just a sailor man. What did they charge you for that, that sandwich? That wasn't even chicken. I don't know what you're eating there. I mean, was it over 99 cents? I, I hope not. <laughs> you better be drunk to eat that. I think they're, I, I believe they're $2 each. I, I uh, do know. Man, they sell there is, there's some spice. There's some kick to it, actually. Um, it is the spicy chicken sandwich, I believe. I saw the receipt for it. Um... Go ahead, Joe. I, I've got yeah, nothing Joe. good to say. I, I'm like Thumper from Bambi. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. You know, when I was a kid, I used to have turtles, right? And, and I'd forget to feed them because I was just a child. And, of course, I'd have to go up and occasionally and pick them up out of the aquarium. And uh, You know what? I haven't had that sensation, Jeff, since I picked up this checkers chicken sandwich here right now. And I'm going to go ahead and, against my better judgment, let me give it a shot. <laughs> Jake! This is your cousin, next is you. Damn cockatoo never shuts up. Joe always keeps a cockatoo near his house, near his bed. <laughs> oh, man, Jeff. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever put in my mouth, man. I don't know what town... <laughs> I don't know what town you got that thing from in St. Petersburg, but you ought to get to town and get them together. Have them look around, walk around, make see if there's any skunks or possums missing from you know, the, the normal order of things, because... I got a strong suspicion it's on that fucking sandwich right there, man. That is one of the most disgusting things I've ever touched. I could get on an airplane and go around the world. I go out to villages that haven't even been seen by white men yet, and I know they're eating better than this, man. What the hell are you bringing this shit in here for? Next time I get somebody ain't on keto to buy some shit, you gotta know better to go to that shit all anyway. You couldn't go to KFC? Nope. Ah. <sighs> KFC's right. chicken sandwich is good, I'm just yeah. saying. I don't all right. know. All right. How about, what do you think, Terry? What's your review on it, Terry? I don't eat that stuff. I'm keto. No breaded crap. <laughs> no. Jeff, did you bring this guy with you? I mean, you told me he was cool. Yeah, this is before he got on this fucking keto thing, man. Now he's like, you know, it's like he's like, he thinks he's royalty or something. I don't know. But All right. Um, <laughs> Terry, what's our next sandwich? The um, redhead gal there. Hmm. What she got mm. for you? This one has tomato on it. Say the name. Uh, 
Wendy. Oh, it's got pickle, mayonnaise, lettuce. Okay, there's more ingredients than the, the checkers slop. What, was it cheaper than the uh, checkers or more? Hey, look at that. It's closer to keto now. You got tomato <laughs> and got lettuce. Got vegetables. I don't know what yeah, that is. Chicken keto. thing <laughs> All right. Uh, may or may not be a hair in the burger. Or this isn't a burger. This is a... That's chicken. Chicken mess. All right. Let's, let's go to this end. I can smell it. <laughs> it's actually not bad. I I would I would uh late night there's worse options. Um you know, I don't know if it's worth five dollars. That sandwich costs five dollars? Mm-hmm. That's what Terry tells me. It must have been on the, the, the better side of the slum where you drive to get the drive to, right? Yeah, well, it's well I don't know. The nice yeah. part of Pinellas County. Got a nice redhead there. Gotta get it for her. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I have uh, this actually very edible. Um, I don't know if the tomatoes, you know, necessary. <coughs> I'm gonna take one more bite. Tomatoes, they just gas them anymore. They're no good. So what do you give it? Uh, a, B, C, D, e, F. What do you give it? Uh, yeah. All of it. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, let me take this one. I got it. I've been praying to the burger gods ever since I put that last piece of shit in my mouth that this thing will be a little bit better. I don't feel like I'm handling a dead turtle this time so far. It's not I'm emitting wonder. such a stench. I mean, it's <laughs> definitely not emitting anything that's good, but it seems to be a little thicker, you know, right here when you see it, you know? It's got a little more meat to it. A little bit more meat to it, yeah. Huh. Yeah, the last one I give a D minus. Let's see what this one, uh, okay, here we go. No, oh, man. Come on, man. No wonder they call that shit McChicken, because you know what? It's that Ronald McDonald fool bastard, because you'd have to be a clown to enjoy this shit, because it's a freaking joke. I'll tell you that right now. This is a complete joke. I don't understand how the hell they can serve this out for $5. That McDonald's is bullshit. You know what? I'd rather eat the damn ass out of a dead skunk than put that fucking vile shit in my mouth ever again because that's fucking disgusting, man. I've had better food when I was in jail, man. That's Wendy's, not McDonald's. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All redheads look the same to Joe. Uh, forgive me. Forgive me. I thought it was McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. What do we got next? Oh, the 7-Eleven burger. Oh, wait. What do you think of the Wendy's sandwich? Yeah, hey, it's your turn for the review on Wendy's. They're, uh... It's all bread, and bread isn't keto, so I don't eat that shit. That's what I think. You guys can have all the bread you want. Do keto people fetch beers for us non-keto people? Beer? No. no. Too many calories. All right. So, uh, all right, Jethro, what's guy. next? Uh, this isn't even chicken. No, it's a burger. Christ almighty. The chicken challenge. You can take. Jake, Jake's even upset. Jack, you're gonna eat this hamburger if you don't shut up. We're we're letting cow appropriate our chicken challenge. Could the cow come out in front? It would be like the, oh, the like the turtle and the hare. Maybe the cow can come and win the race at the very what end. What is this? Holy shit! That that it's I, a burger. But what's this orange thing? Oh that's, man, that's your cheese. Oh, I don't oh, think oh, this is cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but slap him, please. Jeff, open it up and smell it. It's bringing back bad oh. memories from when I used to. I dated a girl one time, and I used to have to change the uh, their yeah. kids' diapers. I'm not keto. I'm but having flashbacks. Are you man. allowed to eat fucking Seven Eleven food? Like, is that? I feel like this is like uh, waterboarding or something. Hold on, Jeff. Before you review it, let me review it the best way I know how. You ready? F fucking minus. I ain't touching that shit. Go ahead, Jeff. You're braver than I am. Uh, Give it a shot. God, I put worse in my mouth. <laughs> but never a cockatoo. Oh, never a cockatoo. <laughs> Shut up. You hear that? He's going to put you in his mouth. Oh. I mean, if I'm drunk. Well, if you're drunk, you eat anything. But, yeah, it's pretty fucking bad. I think they were like 79 cents, but hold on. Keto Boy over here is going to try the burger without the Oh, bread. oh. Yeah. That's God. how you eat them. You fancy little princess. Takes the bread off. 
Who reminds me of Frank Sinatra with that hat on? He's having a ring a ding good time. <laughs> what do you think there, Keto Boy? How is it? Uh, I think that cow died a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's cow? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's dead. <laughs> I mean, in fairness yeah. to the chicken challenge... We don't know. This is kind of mystery meat, kind of I, like whatever the fuck uh, is in that checker sandwich. Well, I smell, I smell the 7-Eleven burger, and let me tell you what, Jeff. I got six cats, and I ain't going to risk giving it to them because I think <sighs> it might, the veterinarian bills might scale into the thousands. That's probably cat. <laughs> you sure it isn't possum? Possum. Yeah, possum? I was going yeah, high. Okay. I was going high end. I thought maybe like we did with the Beverly Hillbillies and uh, <laughs> Grandma Clamet was cooking. All right, so we got one more to do where, here. Where is this one from, Terry? The Joe Nofo Show and the Joe... Uh, this the is the Joe Nofo Show and the Jeff McAlino Show combined. We're here together. We're like the superpowers back, back in the days when Hulk Hogan and... Uh, what was his name? Um, <laughs> Macho Man. Superpowers. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about Bubba's wife. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Pig. Ch 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 Chiking? Chiking? Chiking now. Where'd you get this one there, Chiking. Uh, Keto Boy? Oh, it must be a Chinese King. chicken sandwich. King. Oh, this uh, one. No, look, look at how elegant this hey, is. It's, it's, it's wrapping inside of wrapping. It's that bare naked lady song. Chicka, 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 chicken. Chicka, chicken. Uh, well, it's, it, oh, hey, it Don't looks like a naked. real fucking chicken Wait, sandwich. Wait, now, because somebody else ate it before. This uh, actually looks like a real, this, this looks like KFC or Popeyes. So this is from Burger King. How much did you pay for it, Jeff? Uh, Terry, uh, five dollars, right? I think it was that. It so was this was the same as the same as the the, 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 the Wendy's one. Wendy's yeah, yeah. trash. All oh. right. I mean, it looks good. Let's. It looks like. Give it a shot, good. baby. Give it a shot. Do that after the raccoons later. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they want to eat it themselves. That's cannibalism. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm if, you, if you feed this to the raccoons, they might, like, next time I go out there, you might, you might get attacked or something. <laughs> Especially with the Chick King sandwich. Chick, they're making fun of Chinese. Look, I don't like this. You know why? Because i got a couple of friends that are from China, and they're Asian, and I don't like the insinuation that they're Chick King. I, I think they're making fun of Chinese I, people. I had a hard time saying it because I... Yeah. I was afraid of saying the, the slur for... Come on, we, li we live in a society where most high school graduates can't even read. What the fuck is with Chiking? I mean, th th this is just mass confusion, right? Well, I think the maybe that's a Maybe your mind is like puzzled while you're eating the sandwich and you don't realize how shitty it is. How is it, Jeff? <laughs> I gotta say, last time I had a burger at Burger King, I thought it was garbage. Yeah. Maybe they should call themselves Chicken King because Chicken this sandwich King. is mediocre. Five, <laughs> five bucks... Yeah, I mean, if somebody well, at least stopped at KFC like chicken. or Popeyes, then we would have the better version of this. At least that one looks like a chicken. Presumably. Do you think that they dye their bread yellow? <laughs> I mean, why, why all of a sudden all the fast food, uh, the breads, all the burgers, why are they all yellow? I mean, I've I cooked a lot of bread in my life. I've never seen one fucking yellow. Well, I mean... What did they did they do a survey and find out that yellow bread is more appealing than white bread or or you know black bread or gray bread or yellow bread? Oh, now we know why. Chinese again are making saying. fun of the Chinese. It's you know how they say Chinese. Jake hey, hates hey, racists. Look, <laughs> look, his hood is yellow. Maybe cockatoos aren't from China, right? So how the small it? ones are. So what do you give it? An A, B, C, D, E, or F? What do you give it? <laughs> lay it down. Lay it down for us, Jeffrey. What do you give it? B minus. Wow, that's B, a big that's upgrade. Close to the top. From B all minus. The rest. Yeah, you notice I'm still eating this one. Yeah. All right, here we go, boys. Shift the cameras over here to Joe Nofo, and I got to tell you. Well, look how fat that one is. All that chicken sticking out there, ready to bite you. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, let me give Not it. Not to a me. <laughs> Yeah, she said all that, but about the chicken part, I believe. All right, <laughs> all right here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that one's pretty damn good. I like that one. My God, I give it a, a B minus. Mm. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. There we go. Well, we have a winner mm. Mm. in the consolation bracket, I think. But Terry, mm. what do you think of this one? Well, hey. take the breading off, and it might be halfway decent. But with all that breading on it, nah. Yeah. 
Breading oh, isn't for keto. Are we back with the keto shit again? Nah, keto's Still good. Still on this thing. <laughs> hey, you know what's going to happen, Jeff? Somebody from Hollywood's going to recognize us. They're going to watch us. They're going to recognize me and you as stars, all three of us. And they'll go, what about Keto Boy? Will Keto Boy eat some uh, breaded chicken if we put him in a movie? And we're going to say, no, no, because we don't really want him there. Because Keto Boy, anyway. Say, no, he can't go to the movie because he don't eat Keto. Sorry, the, the film set is not set up for Keto, so he's going to miss out, like, on the next Godfather. Well, that's why you should have grilled it. Pasta. We'll yeah. be, me and you will be, we'll, me and you will be in a, <laughs> in a hotel room out in Hollywood in Beverly Hills. With a bunch of illicit drugs and a couple of young 19-year-old prostitutes, and he won't be there. He'll be over here eating pig fat. Allegedly. <laughs> well, that's like KFC used to have grilled chicken. They don't have it grilled anymore for any of us. We got, they want to shove that breaded shit down our throat everywhere. You know what? You got to Because it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> so in closing, this is what we come up with. Definitely the best chicken sandwich on the market from the fast food chains available in our area is... The Burger King, even though they're making fun of Asian people throughout the whole process of their selling. It's not the best one in fast food in this area. The best one is the places I told him to go, and he didn't go because Keto Boy is too fancy and thrifty to uh, get us the sandwiches we requested. He reminds me of that. You uh, wanted to save money. You know, I saved you money. Look at that. What are you complaining about? Jack, look at the hat. It reminds me of that, that, that Seinfeld episode. Oh, look at Jerry. He's a fancy boy. Remember that? <laughs> Because he only eats keto. He's a fancy boy. <laughs> he takes the bread off of the burger. <laughs> he put the bread on the burger and eat it all up. Anyway. Who invited this guy? I, you know, he won't be back again. Listen, uh, <laughs> this is Joe Nolfo for the Joe Nolfo Show. And this is Jeff McAlino for the Jeff McAlino Show. And we're all kidding. We're just kidding about our good friend Terry Bird. He's a star of many of the early Joe Nolfo shows. And we're hoping to get him back into I it. I wasn't kidding. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for joining us, and we got plenty more of these coming. In fact, we're thinking about maybe reviewing. Yeah, we're thinking about reviewing some like uh, uh, scorpions and beetles and stuff like that. Which, by the way, are those all are, keto, so you'll be the first one. Those are good protein. That's yeah. what keto is about. Protein. I'll skip that one. And so, all at the same time, everybody, we're out of here. So I'm Joe. He's Jeff, and he's Terry. And believe you me, we're here. Debbie, you got a burger for you. You got really good hair.